In this video, we will look at bullet charts. We will look at what bullet charts are and two ways of creating them in Tableau. In addition to creating bullet charts, we are going to incorporate topics on relationships, how to create relationship calculations, as well as adding conditional statements. Bullet charts are a way to visualize how two numbers or measures compare. Typically, we use this when we want to visualize how one number tracks to another, for example, tracking to a threshold or a goal. A little bit of history on bullet charts. Bullet charts were created to replace gauge charts. Gauge charts are these charts that look like half pie charts, and they have several shaded areas and a hand that shows the angle. While we are familiar with gauge charts because they are similar to the gauges we see in our car dashboards, gauge charts can be hard to read. This is because by nature, we are not good at looking at angles. And these gauge charts, they also tend to take up a lot of space. So this is how the bullet chart was born. If you search for bullet chart specification, you're going to find the original specification for bullet charts. The bullet graph design specification was created by Stephen Few in 2013. Stephen Few is the author of a number of popular visualization books, including Now You See It, Information Dashboard Design, as well as Show Me the Numbers. From this specification document, we can find the reason for bullet charts. The bullet graph was developed to replace the meters and gauges that are often used on dashboards. Its linear and no-frills design provide a rich display of data in a small space, which is essential on a dashboard. Now, what are the parts of a bullet chart? The parts of a bullet chart is really just a bar chart, which shows an actual number, and it also has some kind of a reference line. The reference line allows us to know whether we've reached the goal or threshold or not. In addition to this, you're going to see some shaded areas. Now we can customize this in Tableau for it to represent percentages, quantiles, quartiles towards a specific number. This is the bullet chart we will create in Tableau. This is a fundraising bullet chart and we want to easily see if we have reached our goal for that specific year or not. What we have in here is a bar chart that represents a gift amount we have a goal that is very specific to a gift allocation. And we also have a shaded area that represent 50%, 75%, and 100% towards our goal. In addition to this, we're going to do some color coding. If we have not met the goal or if we are unsuccessful, we're going to assign the bar a dark brown color. If we have successfully met our goal, then we are going to assign the bar a dark gray color. To create this bullet chart, I started with a sample data set from the Tableau public website. So when you go to public.tableau.com under resources and under sample data, you should be able to scroll down and find this data set. And what I have used is under education, university advancement, donations and giving. It's an Excel file. I did make some adjustments to this Excel file. I've adjusted the date, as well as introduce a new tab called Gift Allocation Goal. And this Gift Allocation Goal is a goal per year per gift allocation type. We will combine this in Tableau as we create our bullet chart. If you want to follow along, I've posted the workbook in my Tableau public profile. You should be able to download the workbook from there that includes the data set. Let's now create this bullet chart in Tableau. I have an open instance of Tableau, and we have a couple choices to connect to an Excel file. You can either go to connect to a file, Microsoft Excel, and then navigate to where the file is, or alternatively, you can also simply drag and drop this file onto the open instance of Tableau. I'm going to choose the second option. So I'm going to take this file, drag and drop that to an open instance of Tableau, and Tableau will automatically connect to this data source. Now remember that we have three tabs and we're going to be using two tabs. The first tab is the gift allocation goal. So if we preview the data, we can see that we have three columns. You have gift allocation, goal amount, as well as year. Now let's take a look at the second tab that we're going to use, which is gift records. If we preview this, 
If we scroll to the right, we can see two columns that are similar. We have gift allocation. We also have gift date. However, gift date is not the same data as in the gift allocation goal. Because remember, in the gift allocation goal, what we have is a year, not a date. So we need to make sure that when we combine these two different tabs, that they have exactly the same data points. So let's close this first. And now let's try to combine these using relationships in Tableau. Let's start with gift allocation goal. As we drag it over, we can see at the bottom of the screen, you're going to have a preview of your data as well as your metadata. Now we can take our gift records and we can drag it to the right and Tableau by default will create what's called a relationship. So let's drag this over onto here. Now the default common field is not enough. We want to be able to match based on gift allocation as well as the year because our goals are a yearly goal. So in here, we need to add more fields. However, when we add more fields, when we select year on one, we don't have a corresponding value on our gift record side because remember, the gift records have an exact date. So in this case, we're going to have to derive the value. We need to extract the year out of that gift date. And we are able to do that within Tableau using what we call relationship calculation. So in here, create relationship calculation. And we are going to use the year function for the gift date. Let's click OK. And that enables us to match the year value from the goal to our gift records. Once this is set up, we can create a brand new sheet. A few formatting things that we want to do first. For year, let's right click and change this to discrete because we simply want to display this as a header of values. For goal amount, let's change the default property. So under number format, and we're going to choose currency, single decimal place, and this one, the display unit is in millions. For our second amount, our gift amount, let's right click, default properties, number format, and from here it's currency, but just with zero decimal places. And click OK. Now let's look at the two different ways to create the bullet chart in Tableau. And the first way is an easier, shorter way. This is by using Show Me. You can find Show Me on the top right corner of your interface when you click this. And what you see in here is a series of charts, a series of thumbnails of charts that we can create once we select fields from our sidebar. You can find the bullet chart on the last row, second column. If we hover over this bullet chart, it will tell us that for bullet graphs, we need to have zero or more dimensions as well as two measures. Now we can control click any of the fields that we want to be included in the bullet chart in the sidebar. So let's do that. Click on gift allocation. Control click if you're in a PC or a command click if you're in a Mac. So control click on year as well as goal amount. In addition to that, we also want the gift amount. So now that we have four fields selected, you can see that bullet chart is activated in show me. Once we select bullet chart and let's minimize show me now, this is our very, very simple bullet chart. Now we have to keep in mind that a lot of the settings are default. So we may need to go in and make some adjustments. One of the most common areas you might need to tweak when you use show me is the placement of the bar and the reference line. In this example, we actually have it right. The gift amount should be the bar and the reference line should be the goal amount. However, if you're using show me and for example, the value of the reference line is the one that's showing on the bar. All we need to do is to simply swap these reference lines. And to do that, you can right click on the axis and there is an option in here to swap reference line fields. So just to demonstrate this, let's right click swap reference line fields. And you can see that even the axis changes. We've swapped the goal amount with gift amount again for this one. The default is correct. We want the actual, which is gift amount, to be the bar and the reference line to be the goal amount. So let's swap this back. Again, this is the easy way of creating our bullet chart. Now let's create another sheet and let's try to do this from beginning. It will give us a better understanding on how different components in bullet chart work. And it's also going to help us when we want to tweak our bullet chart. So let's create sheet two. Let us start by creating a bar chart with our actual gift amounts first. So let's pull in our gift allocation as well as the year. 
and our gift amount, let's place that on columns, which will create a horizontal bar chart for us. Now let's also adjust the size so we have slightly thinner bars. It will allow us to show additional information later on. So let's click on size and then drop that down a little bit. The next thing we need to do is to add a reference line. Now we can find the reference line in the sidebar, but it's going to be on the second tab. It's the analytics tab right here, and we can add a reference line. Now, before we can add a reference line, we need to make sure that the field that we're drawing the reference line from exists already in our canvas. Right now, we only have gift amount. So we need to make sure that our goal is somewhere in our canvas. And in our case, we can simply use our goal amount, place that under detail. It will make it available for the reference line. So let's drag goal amount to detail. And right now, after we have this field, we can go to the analytics tab, we can drag reference line over, and we're going to choose per cell because every year for a different gift allocation, we have a different goal. So let's drop it and we'll be able to see a new window. In this window, it will give us different ways we can tweak our reference line. We can even add a band or change this to a band to a distribution or a box plot. Now, as we make changes to this window, you will be able to see all those changes reflected in your view right away. So for example, for this reference line, we don't want this to be based on the gift amount. We can click on the drop down and select goal amount instead. And we can see that those values are now reflected in the reference lines. We can see that some of the bars are crossing the reference lines, which means we have met our goal and some of them have not met the goal. So let's click on OK. At this point, we have two of the three components in a bullet chart. You have the bar chart. You also have the reference line. The only thing that we're missing is our distribution band. And in here, we want to display in a shaded area where the 50% is 50% of our goal, 75% of our goal, and 100% of our goal. And the reason for doing this is so that we can easily tell if we've crossed the halfway mark the three-fourths mark, and how far away we are from the goal. We already have our goal amount available in our canvas, so we can easily just reuse that. So for our distribution band, let's simply drag it over. Let's select per cell. And this time around, notice that what's selected is distribution band. Now we're going to change our computation. Instead of the default, we're going to click on the drop down and we are going to define our percentage. And the percentage has to be based on our goal amount, not the gift amount. But you can also see additional options here like percentile, quantile, as well as standard deviation. So it gives us flexibility on what the bands represent. So for now, I'm going to keep this as percentage. However, I'm going to change the values. It's going to be 50, 75, 100. And again, as we make some changes, we're going to see that reflected in the view behind the window. So here we change this to percent of goal amount. Now we are seeing these numbers in the shaded areas. 50% is where the gray background starts, where it ends and transitions into a lighter gray. It is 75. And then the final one is the 100%. However, if we want below the 50% to be shaded as well, we simply need to select fill below. So let's do that, fill below. Now we can also change the fill color at this point. If we wanna make this different, for example, we want this to be blue or teal or teal light, any of these um, predefined palettes, we can also do that. So let's select teal and let's click okay. Let's also just adjust the grid lines. Right now, we still see a lot of these white lines or the grid lines, and it could become confusing when we have reference lines and distribution bands. So for this example, I'm simply going to turn off the grid lines. We can do that from the format menu at the top, under lines, and then selecting grid lines to none. Now the way this works, let's expand this a little bit. When you hover over the boundary, it will show you what that percentage is, where that percentage is based from, and the value of that 50% in this case. So again, it will be easy for us to see whether our actual, which is currently um, our blue bar, whether we've crossed the 50%, the 75%,
or if we are at the 100%. Let's adjust the heights again in here. The final piece in this bullet chart is simply coloring the bar. So if we have met the goal, we want to color it differently from when we did not meet the goal. And in that case, we're simply going to create another calculated field that has a logic in it. So on the sidebar again, I'm back to the data tab. On the drop down, we can create a calculated field. We can give this a name, met goal. And in this case, we can simply check if the gift amount has exceeded, if it's greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to our goal amount, then we can just say this is met goal, met goal. Otherwise, or else, did not meet goal, and then end. This calculated field will produce only two values, and we can use those two values in color. So let's click OK. Let's drop this met goal into color. And from here, we can adjust the color. So let's double click our color legend. If it has met the goal, we're going to assign it a dark gray color. If it did not meet the goal, we're going to assign it a dark brown slash orange color. So we can get this from the color blind palette. So did not meet goal, we have that selected and then selecting the color from the right hand side. Once we click OK, this is now our bullet chart. Now let's just add a few filters. So for example, a filter for gift allocation, as well as a filter for year. And now we can make some additional adjustments as we need to. So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. We went over what bullet charts were, a little bit of the history, two ways of creating our bullet charts, and reasons for using the bullet chart. And it's really when we want to track an actual against some kind of a goal or threshold. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you again next time.